Good morning, Saxons, and welcome to the first week of May. Roses to all of you for continuing to, to adhere to all of our protocols. We really appreciate everyone coming together to keep us all healthy. Roses to Dara Elkana for being recognized by Salem Kaiser Public Schools for her dedication to student engagement and the promotion of student voice. Roses to Marissa Keel for hosting a blood drive last week that brought in 40 donors and potentially could save 93 lives. Thank you, Marissa. Roses to our DECA ICDC finalists, Nira Bhutani, Emily Chow, and Corin Hoyer for their Gilbert House marketing plan. Me here, Josie, for his business growth plan. And Rochelle Zavalsa for her haagen franchise. Roses to all of our students who competed in their first Health Occupation Students of America State Competition during the first two weeks of April. Roses to our event award winners who qualified for nationals. Arnav Mohindra, fifth place in medical terminology. Niha Srinivasan, third place in human growth and development. And Louisa Liu, first place in extemporaneous writing. Roses to Nira Bhutani for her amazing leadership in starting the Health Occupation Students of America Club this year and preparing her classmates for the state competition. Roses to our girls varsity cross country team for placing sixth in the state for 6A schools in the OSAA academic all state top 10 with an average 3.95 GPA. Roses to our varsity volleyball team for placing ninth in the state with an average 3.82 GPA. Roses to our students who were recognized with the 2021 National Center for Women and Information Technology Aspirations and Computer Awards for their involvement in computer science. Receiving the regional award was Mina Morris. Receiving honorable mention recognition were Niha Srinivasan, Sarah Watamina, and Jasmine Wetter. Roses to Danny Alvarado, who was selected in the fifth round of the draft for the new Mavericks League, an independent baseball league operating at Volcano, Volcano Stadium. Danny was drafted by the Portland Mavericks, so we'll get the opportunity to play independent baseball before heading off to play for Wenatchee Valley. Roses to our girls golf team for taking first place in the Cross Creek Golf Tournament, led by Maddie Dustin and Perry Brady. Roses to our boys golf team for coming in second in their tournament with Lucas Paul, Sam Healy, and Martin Lopez notching our top scores. Roses to our track and field event winners in our meet against West Salem, Emily Chow, Paige Troutman, Brooksy Isham with three wins, Kellen Hayasi, Lydia Stewart, and Ian Clausen, and Anthony Salisbury. Roses to our girls tennis for defeating McNary 8-0 and Corvallis 5-3 with Kate Campbell and Lindy Rybloom coming from behind to get the victory in three sets and seal the win for the team. Roses to our boys tennis team for their 8-0 victory over McNary, their 7-1 win over West Albany, and their 5-3 defeat of Crescent Valley with Chris Bedard and Adam Sun getting wins in their singles matches against all three schools. Roses to our girls softball team for coming from behind to defeat Central 9-8 behind Naomi Galanti's Grand Slam and Olivia Benavides' work on the mound. Saxons, please know that we continue to be ecstatic to have you back as the metrics continue to go up in our county. Just be sure to stay home if you aren't feeling well. If you start to not feel well at school, just reach out to an adult and we'll take care of you. Remember, our protocols are in place for a reason, and that's just to keep us all safe in the event that one of us does get COVID-19. So please continue to adhere to our protocols so that no exposures nor transmissions happen on our campus. I appreciate everyone working together to keep our Saxon community safe. Let's have a great week, Saxons.